one environment, one simple way to care for it. Today's show is about Jerry Fury, the creative force behind Bumsky.com. Now you all must be asking yourselves, what is this Bumsky.com? The answer is, it's an internet radio station that Jerry runs from his very own living room right here in Bayonne. You'll find out more about that later on. However, not only will you be learning more about Bumsky, you'll see the transformation of Jerry. He had a public appearance to make showcasing Bumsky's talent, so we turn to our team here at Ben TV to follow him on his journey to a new Jerry. Jerry's style when he was a teenager, explain it. Wild. Absolutely wild and different. He liked to wear his hair long. He didn't, I don't think he really had a style. Uh, not much different than it is today. It's been like he's been on a, a pause button or he's been on hold for the last 25 years. Each child is different mm -hmm. and that was Jerry. Describe his look now. It's the same as it ever was. Different. It's a cross between a bad hair band and uh, Bon Jovi on drugs. He's still Jerry under all that hair. If this was up to you, mm -hmm. what would you do for his makeover? Uh, as far as clothes, I think a little more sporty. Cut his hair. <laughs> I think we would start with his hair. Probably just throw him in a blazer and a, and a collared shirt. Where do you think is the place that Jerry shops the most, his favorite store, to go shopping for clothing now? That's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, other than CompUSA, that uh, GW? Oh, my goodness. Um, Target? Kmart? <laughs> GWB, Jerry, the Goodwill box. The yeah. Goodwill box. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh. Keeping with the no-budget personality of Bumsky.com, we took Jerry on a low-budget makeover. Hey everyone, this is Lauren Tarek here at the Salvation Army on Avenue C and 21st Street in Bayonne. Today we're with Jerry Fury looking for vintage clothes to give his look a little bit more of an edge. Helping us along the way is a vintage clothing expert by the name Joe. Joe is also the proprietor of Dino Vinyl, so he knows about things that are vintage. So you're going for more a, a broader wardrobe other than just this one night, correct? Well, the idea is usually it's jeans and a t-shirt. So we're going to try and make me look like something other than jeans and a t-shirt. So we haven't really decided, you know, basically I'm leaving it up to who's going to do my hair. And, um, Joe's helping out with the vintage clothing because obviously just jeans and a t-shirt is fine. I'd be shopping in the t-shirt section if it was me, so... When shopping at a thrift shop, it is important to remember that you'll get virtually no help from the salespeople and will be forced to find the size you want among a mishmash of fashions, trends, and mistakes. This is where Joe became invaluable. This man touched every shirt in the place. Somehow, though thought impossible, he came across a few winners. We got these three items. We got the black shirt, um, the striped shirt, which is nice and casual and a pair of nice khakis, um, which he can wear uh, with a black shirt or, or whatever. And this can just be everyday wear. How much money would you say that Jerry spends per year on clothing? <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, I don't know. $200 or less? $50. That would probably be pretty good. 500 a year. How many pairs of shoes do you think that Jerry owns? Six. One pair of shoes and one pair of sneakers. <laughs> Another good question. Probably. I'm going to say two. I would say, oh, he's got sneakers. That's right. Two. One, two. a right one and a left one. Uh
Continental Hair Center, where Maria DiMello is giving Jerry his haircut. Maria Mello of Continental Haircutters has contributed a free haircut to our cause. She was recommended by none other than our executive producer, Sal Ionesi, who will let no one else touch his head. I like it a lot. It came out great. Okay, now Maria. You did a good, a good job. Okay. Tell me what you Thank did, Maria. You. What I did, I make a lot of layers in his hair, yeah. me more like a professional look, and I'm gonna grow nice. So this way, he can be easy for him to take care. Wash and just blow dry, or just dry with the towel if we could. Okay. Great. You're all set. You're yeah. ready to go anywhere now. I think so. Do you think this makeover will stick to Jerry? I hope so. I think it will. I think so. Yeah, I think he would. It's going to be better. I know that once he sees it's better, he's going to stick with it, yes. I think so. I think he needed a jump start, and mm -hmm. I think it will uh, help him, and I hopefully maybe send him to Hollywood. Can you believe music is being sent out worldwide just through his little office? Well, believe it. Jerry broadcasts indie music all over the world on his internet radio station, Bumsky.com, right from his living room. <laughs> 